the within the industry uh, dealing with like legal matters and risk management is there any anything that you would suggest doing well yeah I mean when you're creating your policies and procedures I think the key to it is don't create policy and procedures that you can't keep up with a lot of times we'll see these big policy and procedure manuals and nobody can keep up with them you'd be better off having fewer policies but execute on the ones you have. That in itself will reduce liability and risk. Um, you certainly need to have the insurances that you need to have. You certainly need to have risk management assessment, and there are plenty of risk management ex experts that can come out and assess your business, your building, your people, your operating standards, etc. Um, training is a critical component. A lot of times when a lawsuit comes up, it comes down to management neglect. Either a national chain or an independent, the person that's running the single location, somebody either slips and falls or they get a foodborne illness. And what it comes down to is the company either had a policy that said this is what we were supposed to do, but then we didn't follow it. That's management neglect. The other option is we didn't have a policy and therefore, we didn't know what to do. That's management neglect. And so most of these lawsuits that happen in the restaurant business ultimately come around to management neglect. People weren't focused on the day-to-day -day operating of the business. They weren't focused on... <laughs>